Hi, this is lesson number 75 from our Coral Draw Training Course Series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to design this brochure in Coral Draw. Here you can see this is our page. This is the layout we set in our previous lesson. So let's design the front side. Here we have shapes, three shapes, picture box. We have a white rounded shape and there is a gold color stroke around. At the bottom we have two shape and here we have one circle with a stroke. Using circle we can create these shapes. Click on ellipse tool, press control key and simply draw an ellipse. Press plus key to duplicate and by holding shift key we can resize it this way. We have two shapes. Once again press plus key and resize it. So basically we created three circular shapes. At the bottom here we have curve shape. Using pen tool we can create path and then with the smart fill we can get the shape. So here we have pen tool. Click and once again click. Now double click on this point to end the path. So this is how we have a basic uh, line, curvy line. We can go to the shape tool and further adjustment we can make. Okay, that is fine. Once again we will use pen tool and make sure that you are not really close to this path. Click and then bring your mouse over this path and click and drag just this way and once again double click on that point to end the path. So this is how we have two curve line. Here we need simple uh, circle we can create later. Now we are going to get the shape using smart fill. So here we have smart fill tool under interactive fill select it and simply click. So this is how we have shape. Make sure that you have base object because this rectangular shape if we don't have we cannot create the other shapes. If you are using smart fill tool you need to have object in the background. So now second is this, this is the third one, one shape we need here and this one. Click on pick tool, press alt key and select these two line, delete. These three circle we can also delete, press alt key click and drag to just make cross selection and delete. So we got here our basic structure. This will be picture frame so I can select it, right click, frame type and click on create empty power clip frame. Another here we have, press control key, right click, frame type, create empty power clip frame. Alright, now let's go to the second page. From top we have two shape, from the bottom also two object we have here there is a circular shape and in the middle portion another rectangular shape we have. So the first thing we need to get the background object. We can go back to the page 1, select this object, control C and simply come back to the second page and control V. We have base object, simply click on the pen tool, click, click and drag and double click on this point to end up the path. Once again we can create another path. When you are going to create the other path, don't bring your mouse close to the first path. So we will keep it away, click, click and drag and then double click. So this is how we have another simple curve line. From the top also we are going to create two line, click click and drag. This will be a little bit deeper this way. Once again, then double click, smart fill. From top also, let's delete the curvy lines. Press Alt key, click and drag. Here we have a picture frame, right click, 
frame type and empty power clip frame. In the middle here we have one shape. For this we can use the background. Make sure the snap control is active. Click on view, snap to and guide lines. Since we need to snap with the guides, now just simply resize it and snap with the guideline. So this is how we get the middle portion. Here we have a simple blue color. This color we can get from the interactive fill. I am going to choose using eyedropper only. So click this shape. Here we have eyedropper. We can fill this shape also. White color. set fill color. Now we are going to select this all object. Press alt key and select this way. Right click here to remove outline. Set outline color none. This object we are going to fill with the gradient. So choose interactive fill and here we have option just click it. Now click and drag. From the bottom we have dark color and uh, from top it is a lighter. Select the color here, click. You can choose color from the color picker. We have slider and also swatch. I will just take the color using eyedropper. Now select the top point once again. We will choose color lighter. Here we have picture box. We can apply the outline. We can add stroke. 0.5 is there. I am going to add 8 white. Now let's go back to the page number 1. Our background is blue. So select it. Using eyedropper we can choose this color. Here is white. This object is also white. And this is picture frame. And once again we can fill the gradient. This side is dark, so click. In this object, we can fill the same color. Select this object, edit, copy property from, make sure that you check the fill. And then click OK and simply click on this fill. So that fill is already there. We need to reverse it. It is simple. Go to the interactive fill and here we have option. You can just reverse the fill. So the light color is from the right side. This picture frame we need to apply stroke. Set outline color. Thickness maybe 8 that is fine. So let's remove the outline from all object. Press Alt key, click on drag to make cross selection and set this none for outline. One picture frame I will fill with the image and the rest all you can do the same way. Here I have picture. This picture I am going to place here. Just bring your mouse over the picture frame and it's done. For further adjustment, you need to click on this button here, select content. And click and drag just to adjust. You can also resize this way. To clip all other image it is same process and there is a text a logo I have. You can add that. This is simple. Other side also we have placeholder text. If you want to use placeholder text for practice it is simple. You need to click on text tool. Click and drag to draw a text box and simply right click on it. And here we have insert placeholder text. So the text is added. We have two pages. This is the first page and this is the second page. This is how we design this beautiful brochure uh, using few simple steps. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.